All right, so I don't know if you saw the one video I did about gas in the diesel tank and what to do, but this is about DEF diesel exhaust fluid inside of your diesel tank. This is a big deal. Uh, this could have been classified as one of the engine killers, but that was talking about repairs. As far as catastrophic failures to entire systems go, if you run it for a long time, because what happens is DEF turns into a crystalline formation. And that inside of a fuel system can turn into almost uh, the finest pumice or uh, abrasive material that will destroy the internal components of all these very tight clearances, some of them in the millions of uh, clearances. So what do you do? The first thing you do is if you know you put DEF in it, you do not start the engine. If you do start the engine, it won't, it will run poorly after a little while if you put death in it um, and you go on down the road. If my advice to anybody is if anybody fills up your truck, because the common denominator I'm seeing here is that someone filled up my truck. If someone's driving your truck, they need to know the difference between a def and diesel or don't give them the keys. This is a $16,000 repair if you ran it through the system. And if you don't do that repair, let's say you tried to flush it and get it by, you still rob hundreds of thousands of miles, probably off the internal wear uh, of some of these parts. So unfortunately, it's a, it's a, it's a shit story. And if it does happen and try to get as little through the system as possible, I have seen trucks uh, after doing it where I've drained and flushed. Some guys went out hunt. This is within the last year. Guys were out hunting. A guy, all four of them were there. One hadn't filled up a diesel before, a modern one, and um, put the wrong pump in. And some of them aren't made to fit, but this guy still was pouring it in, and his, he stopped. But they drove it for a little bit. Drove it to the shop, actually. And it had, it had uh, ran very poorly by the time it got there. I drained and flushed. I contacted them later and they said that it hadn't had any problems. But I know that that small particulate does create an issue. Now, if I didn't have the money, I'd roll the dice and clean the, what I would do is I'd drain the tank, put a new filter in, flush all the fuel lines, but do it as soon as possible. And don't drain the fluid out of it until you're ready to clean it. Do not let it sit and crystallize before you go to address it. Get it out of there as soon as possible and start flushing diesel through it. Make a mess all over the floor if you have to. Wear PPE because that shit is bad for you. Okay, my two cents. Take care.